I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's just so good to be with you today. I want to ask you a question. Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Well, the answer is found in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 1. The Lord says, Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Yes, come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend money for what is not bread? And your wages for what does not satisfy. Listen diligently to me and eat what is good and let your soul delight itself in abundance. Incline your ear and come to me here and your soul shall live, the Lord says. And I will make an everlasting covenant with you. The sure mercies of David. The sure mercies of David. Go straight with me to the New Testament, to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 26. You see, this is the bread of life, this book. This book is hot out of the oven every morning, fresh bread from heaven. This is not stale. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. See, this is the word of God. He says, he who drinks of me will never thirst again. He tried to explain that to the woman at the well. She didn't understand. She thought he was talking about natural water. He was talking about living water, spiritual water. So let's go to Matthew chapter 26, and I'm reading from verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, he blessed it, and he broke it. And he gave it to the disciples, and he said, take and eat. This is my body. And then he took the cup, and he gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink of it, all of you. There we are. There's the bread. There's the water. Not one of us should be starving, folks, when you meet with Jesus. He's the answer to every single one of your needs. I'm not talking about only physical bread and water. He supplies that as well. I'm talking about spiritual bread and water. Some of us are suffering from malnutrition because we are so hungry and so thirsty because we don't read the Bible. We don't spend time in prayer. We don't go to church. We don't fellowship. That's why we are starving and that's why we are dying of thirst. We really need to get the message out there. You know what evangelism is, my dear friend? Quite simply, one hungry beggar Showing another hungry beggar where to find bread. That's all it is. I always remember that story of Gypsy Smith preaching off his painted wagon in England many years ago out in the open. And a burnt out preacher came to him. He said, I've preached everything in the Bible from Genesis through to Revelation. I don't know what to do anymore. I've lost all my joy. He said, just keep telling them what Jesus means to you. That's all it is. That's evangelism. One hungry beggar showing another hungry beggar where to find bread. Tell them what Jesus means to you. And that's exactly what's happened. A few weeks ago, we had a prayer meeting in Mitchell's Plain in Cape Town. And some gang leaders came forward. Not gangsters, gang leaders. They repented of their sins. They asked Jesus to be the Lord of their lives. I put a jacket, my jacket, onto one of those men gave it to him as a gift and said to him, the Lord's going to use you to preach the gospel, to feed the hungry. I heard just the other day that he sh shared his testimony for the first time in his life and 30 people came to Christ. Why? Because he showed them how to get bread and water. Until the next time, may God bless you as you feed the hungry. Goodbye.